This video introduces the Rotor Mark II and its relevance to the way community demining can be undertaken today. We would like to differentiate between the traditional technical demining and the demining operations which incorporate broader services to affected communities in post-war scenarios now commonly known as integrated mine action. Integrated demining operations run by NGOs are not generally restricted by time frames. Using the newly developed Rotor Mark II, it will still be much faster and safer than manual excavation with a trowel and bush cutting with a pair of scissors. NGOs also give greater credence to social impact, redevelopment and the creation of indigenous capacities. The Rotor Mark II is based on a commercially available backhoe tractor. Even though adapted for a demining role, it still retains all of the versatility it was originally designed for. This includes the digging of trenches and holes for all types of construction, as well as moving soil. It also serves as a loader and a light crane for general logistics and workshop duties. All attachments are rapidly interchangeable. In order to withstand anti-personnel mines and fragmentation, the cab is heavily armored and deflectors protect the areas behind the wheels. The belly has a removable V-shaped armored deflector tub. The rotor drum attachment sifts suspect soil and separates all objects larger than the chosen grid size based on the size of known mine dimensions. The machine's scraping and dozing abilities are used to prepare safe lanes or boxes for specific demining procedures employed. Unique to this multi-tool is the possibility to sift mines out of highly metal contaminated soil like garbage or scrap pits and mulch steep slopes and verges uphill or down. The rotor drum is made to withstand blast of anti-personnel mines without any damage. In the case of a larger explosion, the drum might have to be exchanged but the core of the machine and the operator will remain unharmed. In the case of an anti-tank mine blast under one of the wheels, the belted operator has a fair chance to survive. The cab has one door and one emergency exit window, one fire extinguisher inside and another one outside. Additionally, the operator wears a radio headset for clear radio communications. The Rotor Mark II vegetation cutter attachment removes brush and trip wires, therefore making contaminated areas safer for manual deminers and dogs. The Rotor drum attachment sifts suspect soil and separates all objects larger than the drum grid size, which includes all known types of mines. Often, these technologies are used in combination. The Rotor Mark II is a multi-tool workhorse, which includes the functions of a rotor, mulcher, dozer, loader, and excavator. It has the benefits of versatility, safety, low investment, and sustainability. This machine's reduced operating costs outweigh the slightly better performance of a combination of expensive, single-purpose machines. The Rotor Mark II was designed and built by MGM's Research and Development Branch, HEC, in Windhoek, Namibia, 
and is now available to the international mine clearance community. We thank the U.S. government for their support and the possibility to build the prototype of this community-orientated mine action multi-tool.